Now, England rugby star and father of four, Courtney Laws, has urged parents to get married in order to create what he calls a stable family for kids to grow up in. Courtney, who's been married to his wife Jessica since 2015, believes that he would have had a rockier life growing up if he hadn't had married parents. So, Judy, what do you think in this day and age? Uh, should you get married <laughs> for the sake of the kids? You you know, look, I'm a, I'm a single parent. I was brought up in a single parent home. And I think the issue is if you're just getting married or just staying together for the sake of the kids, it can be a little bit, you know, hard for the kids because they can sense things in that sense. So they can sense if you're not happy. I, I do believe in marriage. And I think if you are getting, in, getting together and getting married for the sake of your love and your unionship and just want to share that with your family, then why not? I think secure parents whether you're together or not together is the most important thing for children anyway yeah stability i mean what i take yeah what stability says, stability i'm not sure sometimes marriage can give stability it doesn't yeah. always give stability does it no oh gosh no i mean there can be instability within a marriage but i do think if you take it as a generalization it's harder to get out of a marriage so i think maybe sometimes what happens is that something that you know if you're not married you might just go right that's it we're all splitting up. Mm. I'm going off here. I'm going on. But it might be harder to do that if you're married, yeah. and it might make you think. See, it's funny. Twice. People always say that. Ian and I have been together. Oh God, I don't know. Somewhere between 25 and 30 years. We don't have an anniversary. Right. We're not married. Two kids. And actually, yeah, we've got house together. We are enmeshed with each other's families. We're enmeshed with each other's friends. You know. You know, it's not any easier to get out of it no, well, because it, we don't have a marriage. I know what you mean, yeah. but if you wanted to split up, you did. You wouldn't have to particularly go to a lawyer. You wouldn't have to. Yeah. You could just but go, you have this, you have that, and you can split but up. But we are as emotionally invested in our relationship as we would be if we were married. I mean, absolutely, 100%. Yeah. You know. But it's interesting. So um, I know we've shown a little bit of it, but let, let, let's have a look at what Bonnie oh, said Bonnie, back Bonnie. in 2016. Mm. Kids, we wanted to ask you, do you think uh, that it really matters if parents get married? Sometimes I get a bit frustrated that they weren't married. Do you? Yeah. Why? Because they're just not. <laughs> and I feel, sometimes I feel like my dad like, can't, isn't like a proper, proper dad. Because they aren't married, because they aren't married, I think that he's kind of like a step dad. No! <laughs> Oh, oh, she's actually adorable, isn't she? I wanted to throttle her last yeah. night. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> she's so how does she now. feel about it now? Well, it's funny. I said to her, Bonnie, that we're going to talk about this tomorrow, maybe. And what do you think? Uh, I had actually forgotten what she said, but she remembered. Mm, she remembered yeah. it absolutely word for word. And, you know, her face changed. She said, I, I really wish I hadn't said that. I feel terrible about that. And Ian was sitting there as well. And, I mean, he's a softy. And she's like a real softie for her daddy. And she said, I feel terrible that I said that. And I, I remember watching it with dad and I saw his bottom lip go, which is maybe overdramatic. She is overdramatic. And I felt so terrible that I'd, I'd hurt my dad. Aww. But, you know, mm. she, she hadn't. I mean, he absolutely mm. knows, um, you know. Uh, but that's a nine-year-old, isn't it? And there's a lot of people say, should you marry for the sake of the kids? She's nine. You know, we're the adults in this equation. We need to know whether it is the right thing to do. I don't think you should yeah. marry for the children. I think you should marry because you want to get married. Yeah. And when I got married to Mark, he wanted, like, the big church wedding and everything. I would have been happy with, like, a registry office or whatever. But he said, no, I'm, getting, I'm only getting married once and I want it to be a really nice wedding. So it was, it was all arranged and everything. And then my mum ended up having a heart attack mm. and going into hospital. And so she, all she kept saying was, please rearrange the wedding, because she thought she wasn't going to be around. So please rearrange the wedding. Um, so we rearranged it for three weeks later, and we had the best day, because mm. she was there. After thinking yeah. she's not going to be there, we had the most amazing day. But I think as you're getting older, like I've got a friend that got married a couple of years ago, and I think it's just for financial stability, so yeah. that when mm. something happens to you, then everything's sort of sorted out. You don't have to worry about our oh, death tax and all of mm. those things that come into it. Yeah. Um, mm. So I, I think... Like, Were you, you glad happy. you got married, though? Yeah, I am glad I got married, yeah. Yeah, was I your mum? My mum was delighted yeah. at the time. She changed her mind later. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I definitely would get married. I would get married. I'm just putting that out there. I would get married, OK? I'm just putting that out there. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to get a wee neon sign behind you for the next time you're on, Judy. Judy is there and available for <laughs> offer. Thank you very much indeed.